Hello there and uh, good morning. <laughs> so, I've, wo I've just woke up. Well, I've not just woke up, but I've got up, had cereal, got on my PC, and uh, and this video, this uh, Buki Violetta Racers compilation reaction, is popping off and I don't know why, so I'm looking at it and there's like a bunch of comments here now. A bunch of comments. And the video has like 600 something views, I think, last time I looked at it. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to check out what it is people are saying and if I can respond to some of the comments I'll respond if there's you know like if there's something that I can add to it if not then oh, it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is uh, let's go with the oldest one so uh, womp womp you'll be fine okay yes I will uh, as a white person I find his jokes funny shrug emoji and I really don't think that as a content creator, you should uh, okay, but you should be putting other VTubers down and feeding into lowly drama that, at the end of the day, is not a big deal. You heard it here, folks. Racism is not a big deal. And the next one we have, uh, people are jumping on this Niji Sanji hate train so much. LMAO. I watched this clip compilations with my black and white friends on uh, DS. I didn't know you could watch compilations on the Nintendo DS. And they give you no Fs. I know it's probably supposed to be like Discord. Just put Discord. People should watch stand up comedian like Jessica. Like, I know who the fuck that is. So they wouldn't get easily offended. Well, I mean, first of all, if you're gonna offend a comedian. If you're gonna. Not offend a comedian. If you're going to suggest a comedian that says offensive shit. Then you gotta say the actual good comedians, Ricky Gervais and Dave Chappelle. Those are my two hot picks, anyways. As a comedian in general, who you just want to watch to make you laugh, who's you know funny like an all round like an all rounder guy, then Lee Evans. Lee Evans is goated. Okay, I love Lee Evans. I grew up watching him movies as well as on comedy stand up, and he's I fucking love him. He's great. Go watch Lee Evans. Uh, the next comment, does quote-unquote racism, I don't know why it's in quotations, affect the white community? Nah, school emoji. Okay, let's replace the white with a different colour. Does quote-unquote racism affect the black community? <laughs> nah, school emoji. You see how it looks bad either way, commenter? Even white people talk quote-unquote bad or make jokes about white people constantly. Especially white LGBT people love to joke about them. What? Is is this white LGB making jokes about white people or is this uh, white making jokes about... I don't know. Okay. Anyway, anyways, moving on, moving on, moving on. But as a quote-unquote public figure, I guess Uki needs to knock it off. It's not funny anymore when it's constant. Some people will find it hateful. I mean, if you're only talking about one race specifically, and it's coming across as not only as a joke but as like random, and who the fuck starts a conversation like that, and what's was what's with your attitude towards people of that skin color? Yeah, it's hateful. And replace the repl replace white with a different color, and it's it's 100% going to be coming across as hateful. Uh, oh, there was a there was a reply actually to the. Uh, to the to the Jessica comment, uh, people are angry because other members had to apologize for less. It's mainly the blatant favoritism people hate. From what I understand, from what I know, Anna had to apologize because she did a stereotype joke, and like literally pr pretty much like the next day or something, she had to apologize on stream for doing a stereotypical joke, and then Kyo did a joke that was involving him and it wasn't racist at all whatsoever it was just a straight up fact that some country was known for being you know for, for plastic surgeries it was a straight up fact and he he was not dissing anyone about it he was just saying that he himself went there when he got the the new VTuber update right and then he had to after after you know saying no to it first time he ended up having to apologize so when two people have to do apologies for one, a stereotype, and two, a fact, and then and then and then this Uki person 
doesn't do any apologies whatsoever and he's constantly non-stop bringing up white people regardless of if it's funny or not you know and it's coming across as hateful especially seeing as somebody's making compilation videos of it and he's tweeting about it being hateful towards white people some people are expecting an apology from him and it's not coming you know so it's like it's understandable it's quite understandable uh, this comment, I like this comment, because this is actually informative, okay? There is a lot of context missing from the clip about elderly white people. After watching the whole thing, it's not really racist. I like this comment because the comment is actually telling me, it's actually informing me that when I asked the question of, I feel like some of these, because I think, I think I, I remember saying in the video when I was reacting that some of these clips maybe have more context and I'm not just and I'm just not getting it, I'm not seeing it. It's just this segment that's been cut, right? So there's probably more context to some of them. And I did give him some leeway with the whole like... I gave him some leeway with some of the things, because come on, the, the mortuary's assistant, it's literally a white man. It's a demonic white person. So I don't think that one's racist. But everything else can be seen as racist. Some of the stuff can be taken out of context. Some of the other stuff is like, straight up, who the fuck starts a conversation like that? Why say that? Why bring that up? You know? And, uh, but as for the elderly white thing, for me, this is mostly, for me personally, this is mostly just him being rude towards the elderly people. And it was unnecessary and not needed. And the fact that, it, that it's stuck in his mind for so long, for however, however long since it happened. And he still constantly thinks about some fucking elderly people saying to him, hello, you know, and then he doesn't like that or whatever, and he's just, the way, he, he, his attitude towards that is just, he's just such a piece of shit, so that's where I got, that's where I got from that, and that's, that's what I think, but regarding everything else to do with this video, and everybody else's comments, uh, everybody else's comments, I, I honestly, I've moved on, I don't care, and at the end of the day, I've got views. <laughs> I've got views from this clip now, <laughs> from watching this video. It's a reaction video. It's how I've reacted at the time. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. Other than this, I don't really have anything else to add, I guess. Uh, other than, well, I know this video has been getting a lot of dislikes, which also understandable considering how it would be Uki's fans that are disliking it. The fact that it's a YouTube recommendation though, that's kind of crazy. That's cool. Oh wait, it's this is saying I have 800 views on it now. Alright, so now now this video's got 865 views, damn. But yeah. I don't really know what else to say on this other than facts are facts. And if two people have to do an apology for stereotypes and facts, then this person has to do an apology for the constant, blatant, uh, offense towards a race regardless of which race it is it's a race and he's constantly being racist some of the stuff i gave him leeway some of the stuff i said could be out of context but primarily when you get down to the issue a lot of the, a lot of the uki fans from what i've seen mostly primarily on twitter i'm seeing us on twitter where the, the, the uki fans are disregarding the racism saying that it's not a big deal it's not a bad thing who cares and they're trying to sidetrack it and try to say that it's not racism it's something else like stop being delusional wake the fuck up <laughs> the guy said some shit it's coming out as pure racism and everybody everybody wants him to apologize for it and he's not apologized for it so people are going after that now and i personally just want to move on and react to other things. I want to react to other stuff, other content creators, videos, you know, like indies. I want to, I want to see more indie stuff rather than Corpo. I've had my fill of Corpo. If I want to watch more Corpo related news, then I'll watch Cure or Rev Says Desu or False ID. So that's where I'm going to get my news from this stuff. I, uh, I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. I'm moving on with my life and so should everybody else i guess if you want to if you don't want to move on then that's up to you it is what it is it's fine so i'm gonna be editing now see you in the next video